Coming to you from Annapolis, Maryland, home of the U.S. Naval Academy, the sailing capital of the world, home of the world's largest crab feast, and four signers of the Declaration of Independence. This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, a daily roundup of local news that you can use, including local sports, local events, local opinion, and local weather from DMV Weather. Now here's your host, publisher of Eye on Annapolis, John Frenet. Good morning. It is Tuesday, January 16th. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. In national news, authorities say an emaciated teenager led deputies to a California home where 12 of her brothers and sisters were locked up in filthy conditions, with some of them malnourished and chained to the beds. Riverside County deputies in California arrested the parents in their Paris home, which is east of Los Angeles. Officials say the girl who managed to escape and call 911 was 17, but appeared to be about 10 because of her poor condition. Deputies assumed that the 12 other children were juveniles, but seven of them were actually adults ranging in age from 18 to 29. The 13 children ranged from age 2 to 29, and 57-year-old father David Allen Turpin and 49-year-old mother Louise Anna Turpin have faced charges including torture and child endangerment, and bail has been set for $9 million for each of them. That's a story that really hit me hard when I heard about that. Unbelievable that people could do something like that. The guy that pushed the button that sent panic to Hawaii over the weekend? Yeah, he's been reassigned. The employee at the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency who mistakenly sent a missile alert to Hawaiians on Saturday has been reassigned to another position. The worker, who is unnamed at this point, caused widespread panic when a wrong button was pushed, triggering the alert, and it was sent to cell phones warning of a ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. The agency announced that the employee will still report for work, but has been reassigned and will not have access to the warning system. No more buttons allowed for him. Sliding into some local news, the Capitol is reporting that Anne Arundel County has created a very small fund to help those seeking treatment for their addiction to opioids and other drugs who are missing out because of insurance issues. Adrian Mickler, who is the executive director of the county mental health agency, said the county has allocated $43,000 toward helping people in need of treatment, but with questions about health insurance. This is sort of a bridge loan, if you will, although it's not a loan. The fund is administered through the crisis response team, and it really is more of a, quote, gap filler, said Mickler. Essentially, if somebody is looking for help and they're trying to figure out if they have insurance, if insurance will cover the help they need, this fund can kick in for a few days until that gets all worked out so they can get immediate help. One might think that insurers were a pain in the neck to deal with, but for the most part, county officials and treatment centers have said they've been really good partners. And as we talked about a little bit yesterday, Navy coach Ken Nimatololo has made it official he is staying here in Annapolis to coach Navy for at least one more year. He had sent a text to the Capitals' Bill Wagner, very short and succinct. It said, Let me just tell you so you know where I am today, so you will know exactly my future plans. Beat Army. Nimitz followed up in a statement and just said that after much prayer and pondering, it has become crystal clear that the U.S. Naval Academy is a special place with special people, and I love it here. Plus, I have unfinished business. Rumor has it that there is a winter weather advisory out for the area. All I know is that it's cold, but if you stick around, somebody who really knows what's happening will be right here. Stay tuned for George Young with DMV Weather. I'm Sean O'Neill, your local RBC Wealth Management Advisor. More than likely, the primary reason you save and invest is to achieve your life goals while ensuring your long-term financial well-being. But before you can determine your preparedness towards your goals, you need long-term answers to important questions about how much money you need, where it will come from, and how long it will last. RBC Wealth Plan, a new industry-leading tool, is now available to help answer these questions and develop your personal plan using a conversational approach. With RBC Wealth Plan, we can create a personal analysis based on these unique goals while offering you the ability to weigh certain decisions and determine what's best for you and your family. Call me, Sean O'Neill, today at 410-573-6723 for a complimentary consultation. RBC Wealth Management, a division of RBC Capital Markets, LLC. Member NYSE, FINRA, and SIPC. This is Maryland. The weather can be nearly unpredictable. 
We've got George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis to sort it all out. Hey everyone, this is George from DMV Weather with your Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, January 16th. So here's the deal. Just get through the next three days and then we'll be right back into our next January thaw with a great weekend ahead with sunshine and temps in the 50s. For today, we forecasted a target high temp of 37 degrees for both downtown Annapolis and BWI Airport with fairly light winds again as clouds move in ahead of our next weather maker. Then we should expect some light snow late tonight into Wednesday morning, but a very low-end event for all of Anne Arundel County, with two inches or less being the forecast, and the real expectation at this point is probably for an inch or less in most spots. So while there might be an impact to school schedules and morning commutes tomorrow, the expectation right now from us is for it to be a relatively minor one. Then we get another day in the 30s with some breezy conditions Thursday before sunshine and 40s on Friday, followed by more sun in 50s both Saturday and Sunday. So hang in there, and it'll be sunny and warmer before you know it. Until then, stay tuned for any potential updates on the incoming snow, and stay warm for the next three days. Okay, that's it for us today. Be sure to download our free weather app in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store on all of your devices by searching for DC MDVA Weather, and follow us on our website at dmdweather.com or on Twitter or Facebook so you can always stay weather-informed. This is George Young of DMV Weather with your Annapolis forecast. Make it a great day out there, and remember, whatever the weather outside, have fun and be safe. I'm Sean O'Neill, your local RBC Wealth Management Advisor. When you choose to work with me, you'll have access to a worldwide network of financial products and services only available from a leading global institution. RBC's international reputation for physical strength and stability, world-class capabilities, and corporate values is unique in the financial services industry. I also recognize the importance of reinvesting in the communities in which we live and work, and I'm committed to serving my clients by building long-term relationships based on trust, integrity, and confidence. I look forward to helping you with your wealth management needs. Call me, Sean O'Neill, today at 410-573-6723 for a complimentary consultation. RBC Wealth Management, a division of RBC Capital Markets, LLC. Member NYSE, FINRA, and SIPC. Thanks for listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. If you like what you heard, make sure to tell your friends and colleagues about it. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find much more. Be sure to check out our other weekly podcast, The Maryland Crabs. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at noon. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.